vocational service has been very, very neglected. And in fact, some clubs do not even have a vocational service committee. And other clubs have vocational service committees, but they only meet occasionally. <laughs> and they do nothing. Now, this century, really seriously this century, although this direction does not come from RI directly, but it has come from many areas of RI, that shows that this century it is important for Rotarians to give the lead in promoting values. Because uh, values have deteriorated very, very rapidly around the world. And we Rotarians are asked to be examples of what good values is in order to slightly achieve that imperative for Rotary, which is to bring peace in the world. And in our district, we are taking it seriously. And we want to try to get every Rotarian a giving Rotarian in his profession because he is in Rotary because of his profession. In fact, if you resign from your profession, you become a non-Rotarian until you get another classification. Now, what I like to do is there are three panelists, please engage them. You can ask any question, you can make comments, and then I'll ask each one of them to respond. If they are not able to respond for some reason, I will try to respond. If I can't respond, I go back to you and get one of you to respond. <laughs> because wisdom is shared. It doesn't belong to one person. So who's going to ask the first question? Come on. You all were, you all, all were asking each other questions. So who's going to ask? Anybody asking the first question? Or comments or anything? Nobody, you know, the, 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 it's always true that uh, you can't get uh, people to talk uh, uh, in the Asian society in seminars. But once they get talking, talking, they never stop. <laughs> so if you are not going to ask questions, I am going to volunteer you to ask questions. Okay? Right, I'm going to go around and, uh, I'm going to go around and ask questions. Now, you're very young, Rotary. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is your impression of the Chase Vocational Service? Or any of these co-waiters, are they nonsense or are they useful? Or what, what, is, what is, does it uh, tell you for our organization? Well, uh, it tells me about, what, what it does tell me is that uh, we are an organization based on combined group of uh, multiple vocations that we share our various strengths and resources to achieve something greater together. Alex, I think you should introduce yourself. Oh yes, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, introduce yourself and from one club, sorry. Oh, yes. It's my fault, not his fault. <laughs> I am uh, Alex, uh, you can call me AK. Uh, I'm from a club, a uh, uh, club of... Uh, Asia. <laughs> yeah. Or <laughs> Uh, I'm from the Rotary Club of Coaching Central uh, and I'm with uh, HSBC. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, but um, I think our part is uh, we, we, we are from different locations and we come together to achieve something greater. And it's not a lawyer's club, it's not a doctor's club, it's, it's something that we all talk about. We're combinated by one lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> you need to introduce yourself as well. Huh? <laughs> okay, yeah. Is that all? I think that's all. Who is the man who asked the question? Uh, <laughs> in the semester. That's all. I do real care. In PDG, I didn't ask any question. Do any actually Rotarian as of today practice service through their vocation. If yes, say why, if no, say why. <laughs> or you can ask them for them another question later. 
I think yes, and also uh, I think it's a, uh, actually a good opportunity for Ethereum to use their uh, location to provide service. And in our, in, our, in our club, we have a good example brought by our preventive uh, blindness uh, chairperson, faculty, maybe in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's our champion to uh, promote eye screening. Uh, also, uh, all the, the contract operations uh, that we provide to these communities. And, uh, and that direct, directly related, relates to uh, his profession. So, it's a good example of uh, using the strength of profession, profession to provide services to the world. It really answer my question completely, but it's okay. My question is, sit down, we're going to ask the next person. Do clubs, do people, do Rotarians actually provide their service through their vocation? Anybody can answer yes or no? Some yes. Some yes, some yes. But does the majority of clubs provide service through their vocation? Who says no? Put up your hands. <laughs> Majority. You mean everybody practice by... Who says yes? Put up your hands. <laughs> we should have already practicing. Yeah. Well, quite a lot anyway. It looks like half up. up huh? Now, what is the reason that we cannot practice through our vocation? And if we cannot practice through our vocation, what can we serve through other than our vocation? Would like somebody answer, like to answer that? Please. I think the, the value of joining Rotary is that when you find someone who needs help, you also know someone in your club who can help. So you actually are using someone else's vocation to achieve an improvement in their well-being. Let, let, let's, let's have an idea you could take to your club. And the other idea I think you can take to your club is would the panelists like to answer? See what are the other ideas? If you can't serve through your vocation, how can you answer? How can you serve the club, which is nearest to your vocation? <laughs> um, we might not be able to engage just the Rotarians, but through the context of Rotarians, every single Rotarian have their context, and the, this. To me, Rotarians can also mobilize the public through their contacts to help. They might not want to be Rotarians, but the Rotarians can nudge them into helping. And that is also the role of the Rotarian through their vocation. Okay. In other words, as these other gentlemen say, they are Catholics, okay? But other than that, one more. A lot of you got passion for other things. Photography, painting, carpentry, anything. Now, if you cannot serve your lawyer, but you're also an expert photographer, but if you can't advise people that every time on a lawyer, but surely you can teach school children the art of photography so that they can serve the other communities through the therapy. So please remember, your hobby and your writings are sourced for you to practice vocational service uh, in your class, in your So on the whole, actually, vocational service means that you help the needy through whatever skills you can have. Now, you like to say something? Sorry, sorry. I, uh, I'm uh, Dr. Tarek from uh, Rotary Club, uh, Miri. I'm surgeon by classification. I think they're 12. Yeah, Miri. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I use my, uh, my profession and then I give presentations what I have done. But I want to ask before uh, when we join Rotary, each classification, one, uh, one member, and this uh, diversity of profession and business give very strong uh, uh, strength to, to, to the club. Now they are up to, up to five. Is it weaken the, 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 the vocational service or not? Please, who among the panelists like to answer that? <laughs> Understand your your question. When, when we joined uh, uh, Rotary many years back, one member in classification. Now uh, can be ten doctors, uh, five doctors in, 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 from each speciality in one club. 
So, is it weak in the, 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 this diversity of, uh, of the club or not? Um, I think if, yes. if I can just share the experience in our club, we had some uh, of very similar um, classifications. In fact, we have a lot of chemists in our club, but somehow they went, some went into, um, in fact, their qualification was a chemist, but some went into um, uh, um, uh, waste management, some went into something similar. So I think they use their talents and that uh, something else in a vocation that is related. So that we could, they were all very good members and they contributed in their own right. But it doesn't mean that we're all uh, a club full of chemists, but they use different things. So their knowledge, I think, enhanced uh, um, the, the, the wisdom of the club. Anybody else? Talents, the pool of talents. Anybody else want to answer? A good doctor's question. Anybody else want to answer? Uh, I, I, I don't yes. think that it will, it will weaken the club, Doctor. On the contrary, I think it will strengthen your club. Yeah. Um, but it will take uh, uh, some uh, empty member from other classification in the club. Uh, you know, you have, you have a very long list of uh, profession and business. You feel five or six, only one profession. So, this is my question. Uh, Pipi Audrey, uh, thank you for your answer. I think. Uh, for your club, it is uh, they managed to uh, strengthen your club, but I don't know BDG. Uh, uh, semester, you like that? Oh, yeah, okay. If there are five people or ten people just in the same book, it is advantageous to the club because if anything to be materialized, the five brains can sit and find a better solution and best solution for a single thing, and that will be good for the club. Okay, um, well, I, I think there is. Uh, uh, originally, uh, yeah, we agree. You know, the intention originally for the uh, forefathers believed that we should have one, uh, one, one, uh, one, uh, one, uh, one, 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 uh, in, in the uh, in our, in our uh, new rules, uh, we, we agree that we can have five uh, person uh, in the club. But if it's, but if we, if you have more than uh, 50 members, it's 10 percent. Um, I think there must. I think there, there, is, there is a good reason for, for that. And, and one advantage could be. You know, we may have, we may be able to. There's a flexibility for us to recruit more more members. And we are already having a hard time recruiting uh, members, so this flexibility may be an advantage to us. Um, if we have good candidates, we just happen to have the it's a profession. Why should we restrict ourselves? Uh, and the other, the, I want to comment to Maggie is a lot of uh, us you know, they forgot that when we recruit members, we should be recruiting members based on. Classification, classification. Now we should actually do a study to get our own uh, classification now in our club, and then from there try to identify what are the classifications that we think that we would like to include in our club. And if they take this approach, we should we should like. But many clubs don't do that. And some people just recruit members based on their friends, you know, because they back off together and join their friends become members. And I think to me, to me that is not very healthy. Uh, you, you find that these friends, uh, when they are together, they just sit together and, uh, and they, they, they are all part of the class. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you want to say something? I want to say that I think uh, Rotary International, by, by this uh, new law, they want to increase membership. But depending on, 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 on this member, they are active or not, or they can donate to the club. But it is partly weak in the club because it reduces the number of classification in the club. This is my own point of view. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me share with you my understanding. <laughs> and now, Rotary is built on the fact that the club originally is to represent the community, to serve the community. 
and to have the most diverse views of the community in order to serve the community. And as a result of this, there is a classification system. Because the classification system will allow the club to have the most representative of the community to serve the community. Now, this is strange in uh, our city, because our city Rotary Club membership is a bit of an elitist membership. Now, if you take a small town in Australia, where there are a population of, say, 20,000 or 30,000, the club will consist of the police chief, the butcher, the person who uh, repairs motorcycles, owns the place. Everybody must own the place, huh? not the butcher. And the undertaker. In fact, in fact, when I took a group of uh, group study exchange to England as the, as the what do you call it? I was taken to a club in which the membership age is 60. <coughs> And the president is a master, and the secretary comes um, undertaker. <laughs> and and then the club, uh, sec, uh, president uh, said, "You know, you are you are coming to Britain now. You have seen Britain's uh, way of life and everything. You must see how we buy Barry or did." <laughs> So he took my chaps to this funeral parlor, very nice. <laughs> but what I objected, he said, can you all go upstairs to see how we embalm people? I said, okay, no visit. So that is going to the extreme. But that is the origin. So therefore, the classification is one person, one profession. So that it represents the club. But as the community grows bigger, and the city goes bigger, they say, okay, you can have 10% of uh, your uh, classification or any single classification, but not of the same practice. So in other words, you have, if you have 30 clubs, you can have three doctors, but it must not all be surgeons. It can be a general practitioner, it can be an obstetrician, and it can be a pediatrician, because they still have the same now, lately, Can I say a few words? Yes. No, no, I'm not enough. <laughs> yeah, to, to answer your good concern, and of course, uh, uh, you know, very knowledgeable in this investor, he's right. Yeah. Uh, club below 50, 50 so five, so to say, of vocation, no problem. But our problem is our clubs are too small. Nearly one third of our club in our district is below membership 20. Let's say 20. Five of the same profession, doctor, stupid. <laughs> too, too big a percentage, 25%. So that, that is a crutch of our, our clubs are too small. So if you have a club like Pilichis, Pilichis Club, 145 is just too little. Right? So it's a relative. This is according to the, to the number of clubs. Yeah, it's relative. Yeah. That's why they restrict it. The Singapore club. <laughs> So, important basically to understand what Sylvester said. It must not be an old boys club. It never will be all the friends. <laughs> the club must have Rotarians to serve the community. And firstly, through their vocation. Secondly, through their, their, their hobbies and their passion. But they must serve. The small clubs will need that variety. Bigger trucks can afford to increase the people of the same profession and bury them. So that is the principle. Everybody happy with the explanation? Yeah.